in my third or was it my fourth foster home, I was playing with a gun and shot my foster brother. And that turned into a whole fucking shit storm. And I don't know why. Right. And I ended up being taken out of that home. What do you, can I, before, can I cut, can I butt in real quick? Yeah. What do you, I was thinking about a kid playing with a gun. How old were you? Um, at this point, I'm 15. Okay. So you know what a gun is. Maybe, I'm just wondering what I'm little 14. kids think is happening no, but when I they're playing with a gun. At that point, which is crazy, I'm pretty, sh- I'm almost positive I had never seen a gun. Not a real one. Yeah. Maybe I had seen one, but I definitely had never held a gun. This is going to piss off my uh, lefty friends, but I, I honestly think, you know, guns and sex are things that people need to be educated about as long as it's going to be ubiquitous. You Since know what I mean? Since they're here. They're everywhere, and, yeah. you, and, and it, we clearly aren't going to do anything about it, even though it's weird that both sides focus most of their On energy. Right, but the the right focuses on abstinence, and the left focuses um, on getting rid of guns. Even yeah. though neither of those things is ever going to happen, yeah. it's like everywhere, everywhere throughout history, violence and sex is part of us. Yeah. Anyway, I I, I don't know what uh, why I went off on that. No, yeah, I mean, you're that's actually not that's a a good premise and b true, which is the, we should have gun class in yeah. eighth grade and i ended up in i ended up in the military where i where i trained and slept with my gun and i never shot anybody not even an accident that's funny and i literally the reason i shot my my at the time my best friend was because i didn't know what the fuck i was doing i just thought about you sleeping with your gun so you would i would assume you wake up most mornings with an erection against up against your gun no, no. I would wake up in a cot with my, so it, it would be, I don't know if you ever seen those military cots, but they kind of bow a little bit like mm-hmm. you and my, and the, and the, look, what I would do is I would put my leg through the sling, put my leg through the sling and wrap it around. Does everybody have their gun? Yeah. So get, but somebody must have fucked their gun at a certain point. Um, I don't know if it's possible to fuck your gun. There's no, there's really no Could holes. Could you dry hump it? I mean, look, that's definitely possible, but but there's way more fuckable things around you when you're deployed than, than your gun. Boots. Also, you need your gun. Like, you know, the reason you're sleeping with it is because at any moment you might need to use it. Right. So it's not a sex object. I mean, you definitely don't want coming your gun in a firefight. <laughs> that's what I was getting at. <laughs> um, okay. All right. So, so you, the gun thing. So you shoot your. I shoot my friend. I guess I can't just skip past that, right? So, yeah. So they. So long. St- I'm gonna make the short. The story short. Long story short, another former foster kid that used to live in the, in this house that I was in, like he. So he's grown. He's out. He's grown. But he was there when the oldest kid that's there with me was a younger kid. So that he kind of looks up to. So he gives him a gun to hold. Like just say, like, hold this for me. Don't talk mm-hmm. about it. So this gun's in the house for I don't know months whatever and then and he keeps it a secret and then one day he's i don't know if he's drunk or high or whatever and he decides to fuck with me and like wake me up with it to my face so in the middle of the night i don't know who's here who's in the house he just wakes up don't you fucking move me. you know what i mean it was like yeah kind of, and i'm fucking scared and i'm like i don't have anybody whatever the fuck and then he turns on the lights and he starts laughing blah blah blah, blah. this is the jokes you've been a part of as a child are three of the meanest jokes i've ever heard I know. It's all foster care and actual <laughs> right. gun It's violence. all abandonment and, <laughs> and betrayal. Yeah, and so, you know, to get him back, you know, I waited a few weeks. He was getting ready for a date to get out the shower, blah, blah, blah. He comes in, and I'm like, ah. Which, now, thinking back on it, I was like, why would, that's not even a good prank, because because I was just scared I was going to yeah. die. That's he, a good prank. He, that's not a good he's prank. He's going to be like, you're just yeah. holding the gun. Yeah. You know, and I don't know what possessed me to shoot it. Is it one of those things that just happened and you don't remember sending the message to your finger to pull the trigger? No, no, that no, kind no, of thing? no, 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 no. What, what it was is when he did it to me, he pulled the trigger and it clicked. So he, and, and he was like, ah, little bitch, and took took the thing out and showed me and, and right. cocked it back and showed me, blah, blah, blah. And I, I just remembered that in the wrong order. So when I got the gun, <laughs> when he was in the shower and I got the gun, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I took the magazine Slight out. Slight mix up. Yeah. Right. I took the magazine out and I cocked it back. And it, that put one in the chamber. Oh, fuck. Right? And so, I, actually, I did it in the, in, the, in the right order. But I just didn't know what I was doing. Yeah. You know? And so, um, so I just, I pulled the trigger. He gets shot. He survives. Where? Shot in the stomach. 22. Oh, fuck. 22 caliber. Glass to be bag, all that. To this day? No, no. I think, actually, I haven't seen him since then. But I'm pretty, oh, I'm, sorry, I'm but, surprised he doesn't keep uh, keep in touch. No, no, no. I spoke to him about a year and a half ago or something like that. But that was the first time I spoke to him since then. So it's been over twenty five years, thirty years. And did he? Did you explain like, well, you did it to me? So or was it just like ah? And then no, it's no, no, no. Insane. So what's funny is I carried around this guilt because that foster mother was the best one I ever had. They take me out of that home because it's clearly. You know, I lie. I lie for him because they. You know, he tells me what to say, but he's bleeding to death. I called our friend before I called the cops. I called our friend while the neighbors was calling the cops. So when the cop was questioning me, he already knew what I was saying was a lie because he was like, "Why would you call this guy? Why would you call this guy instead of nine one one?" Right. Yeah. You know, this doesn't make any sense. And, and so then, what is that guy going to tell them? Yeah. You know. So it was all these things. My my lie unraveled very quickly. And um, I got taken out of that home, like from the hospital. The, the, they came to the hospital and got me and took me to my previous home. Back your aunt's house upstairs. No, 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 no. Because the, the, the shooting happened in like my fourth home or third home. Oh, okay. And they took me to the home before that. And I remember just sitting in the dark. Somehow it, it brought me comfort. Like everyone had questions and concerns. And all I'm worried about is like, is, is he alive Am I, a, did I did like did I kill him because I'm stupid? Like what was you know? I'm just sitting there at, going through all these things, and all of these adults who I don't trust, right, are trying to cops, foster parents, right? And I'm like, get the fuck out of here with your pamph. You don't have a pamphlet on what to say to a kid that just shot his friend. Stop trying to fucking you know like you looked up the answer in your textbook yeah. like trying to tell me how I feel. I hate and are shit. they trying to scan you for like are you crazy? Are you a murderer? Or is it just like? Do they, does anyone to quickly go, well, this is just an accident? I, I don't know. I, you know what I think? I think what I needed at that time was an adult conversation. I think it's important to recognize when you when you have a uh, constitu what you call it? Constitution? Constitution. Constitution. Constitutionally different child. Yeah. Because uh, I don't, don't want to say smart child because that's can mean a lot of things, different things. Right. But I was a smart kid. And I think the smarter your child is, the more they need things to make sense. Because a lot of a lot of adults have child conversations with their children because it makes them comfortable. Yeah, they don't there's want... also the thing when you're a when you're a kid, like I'm assuming similar that we were, where you'll say shit to adults and they'll be like, huh. A lot of like, I've never thought of that. And you're like, you've never thought of that? Because oh, I'm yeah. 11. Right, well that's- a... How did you not think of that? Well, there's and a... it's just like, they just don't. There's a lot of that. I, yeah, because I think as a kid, I don't think, I've, I, don't think I was ever around any adult that yeah and it's not like they're dumb it's just we're just smart. weird yeah i don't think i was ever around any adult i thought was smarter than me i i there were definitely ones i, I recognized wisdom i recognized that they knew things i didn't yeah but it's like oh you're just keeping the information but you're you're you didn't. you're a hard drive you're not a you're not a cpu yeah, ex exactly yeah. wow dude. yeah that's a good way to put it you're a hard drive not a cpu and so i didn't i just didn't trust any of them I, but I, that's not true i trusted them to behave the way I had stored them in my mind. Where it's like, you're the type yeah. of person that's gonna react this way. And they never surprised me. They always reacted the way I thought. So you're in the dark. So, I'm sit so, I, so, yeah. I, so I spent a lot of time, because, I, because I'm also, so here's the other thing, I'm also around other foster kids that like I left this home because I didn't get along with these kids. Mm. Are they glad like you didn't make it or are they like fuck? No, cuz the you know everybody cuz these are traumatized kids yeah. like they I don't know what it is they but they were she that foster mother was she was doing the, the system a favor. Like I wasn't supposed to be there and probably you know if they would ever let me look at my own file which you can't do that for whatever reason why do they save the records if you're the only one that's allowed to see it like they save your records they're confidential no one's allowed to see them you can see them later you can't ever see them ever the state of maryland will not let me see my foster care records ever okay. but at the same time no one is allowed to see them mm -hmm. so then that begs the question then why do you have them 
No, right. we don't know. In you can't. We can't tell you that information. Exactly. In case the CIA ever wants to destroy yeah. you. No, but uh, but also it does make sense that they won't let you see them because like you could have some kind of. You know, you could have you could be mentally unstable. You could have you know you could read something that one of your foster mothers said about you that you didn't know or. You know, cause yeah, all, I don't know. If you're over 18, it seems like you should be able to know. You, sh- you should be able to know. I agree. Um, but I'm sure they have all kind of bullshit reasons. But <clears throat> anyway, so they had. To, so she was. she's keeping holding me there for them to find somewhere for me to go. Because now I'm a problem child, for sure. And she ain't a problem child person. And so they're keeping me separate from the other kids. In this house? Yeah. Yeah, it was a big ass house. Okay. I, basically, they kept me. I was just downstairs where the. I was in the giant living room, I guess. Got it. And all the bedrooms are upstairs. So for the for the few days I was there, I had that whole room. I was just me in that room. And I remember my foster mother walking in and turning on the light and her asking me, like, you know, do I need anything? Do I want to talk? And I was like, can you just turn the light off? And I don't know why sitting in the dark made me feel better. I think it was like less sensory input or something like but something about it made me feel like i had more control of the situation that felt so much out of my control and i didn't want to fucking talk to her or them or whatever you know it's also i think being isolated what it's like a sign of depression and all that stuff but it's also i think there's something empowering about isolation especially if you're i'm sensitive to perception like i like feeling someone's perception makes me behave differently mm. and it's a friend of mine monic martin always says i don't always want to be perceived so it's like i just like being by myself i don't have to think about how i am i don't have to think about what my behavior makes you think i think of you i just want to behave and exist and not worry about who's going to see it and who's going to uh, uh analyze it and appraise it and assume things about it. and i think i think i do my best i do I, I think i do my best thinking by myself absolutely Cause I, cause I'm also one of those people that like I actually enjoy thinking. I enjoy, yeah. I enjoy actively picking an idea apart yeah. and th- really thinking about it's it. It's its own reward. Yeah. It's like, well, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, I wonder. Ah, huh. right. And you're not. You're, it's not that. That's not your voice, everybody. You're like, it is when you have like a good brain. You can kind of like, mm, mm, it's, yeah. it's it's fun. It's it like something you're satisfying sitting, you're just about sitting it. around doing nothing. I'm like, yeah. so is Neil deGrasse Tyson. He gets paid to think. What do you think the head of the planetarium is doing? Yeah, you think he's he, he's not he's never looks through that telescope. Yeah, he's just thinking of formulations. Think, what you and think, shit. Like, what do you think of theoretical? Uh, so now theoretical I, physicist. I, I know and... I know Neil deGrasse Tyson is not a theoretical physicist, but like, what do you think Michio Kaku does? He makes all this decent money. He's he he gets paid to think yeah. of of things that can't be proven. Mm-hmm. So yeah. why where I'm, do you think he's going to do it in a in a in a square ass <laughs> office? Right. Why, so why I'm, why why is it that when I'm sitting around turn thinking, the fucking lights off? Right. I'm just when I'm sitting around thinking it's not nothing. Yeah. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah. Did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe. And then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.